I didn't get a thumbnail, now that I think about it. No, wait, this is, ugh. It's a 300 polish. Little Caesars fucking slaps. If you don't like Little Caesars, get the fuck out of my face. So, originally, this video was going to be a fit video, that's why I'm wearing my Vivian Westwood choker and this shirt, all extra as fuck, but unfortunately, I just wasn't feeling it, dead ass. I was looking back on the video and I was just like, hmm, I look fat, and all honesty, I was like, I look fat, I look gross, I'm not going to post this, but... I'm probably gonna salvage the salvage what I can from the videos. If not, then I'm just gonna I don't know delete it. But then, as I was taking off all the clothes, well, well putting away most of my clothes, I didn't want to take off this outfit because I love this outfit. But as I was like taking away everything, I was just like, how come? Like, what's the root? So then I was just like, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just sit and talk about it, rant until my little heart is out. <laughs> I got my Tampico and I bought myself a little Caesar's pizza because I may feel fat and disgusting but at least I deserve to eat you know so cheers to that I'm kind of gonna always have that issue with me body issues with me because for like the longest time I was bullied for my weight because as a little kid I was bullied because you know I was a fat little Mexican kid I probably I can find a picture of it You know, growing up in that Hispanic household, you, you kind of get the name Gordito. Mine was Pelon and more Gordito. Or Pelon. Or Pelon Cheese, because my feet smell like cheese. Okay, that's like too much information. But, um, but anyways, going back to the body dysmorphia. Yeah, growing up, I was bullied a lot for being overweight. Um, the way I would, like, compensate for that would be, like, we like usually starving myself, which is not good, which is not healthy. And believe it or not, if you starve yourself, you actually gain weight. Your body goes into starvation mode, so you like, you like literally give yourself, <laughs> give yourself more weight. So starving yourself is not gonna help. And in my culture as well, you know, you you have to fit a standard. If you, when you're a guy, you're either like the ugly fat guy, or you're just an Edgar, or you're like. A really muscular dude however body types some things that I've learned from like from like body types and all that it's really genetic so in my line in my family you're short and muscular or you're tall and you're like a little chunky you're not completely fat but you're chunky and I'm 5'11 practically 6'3 so I got the chunky so I ain't gonna lose a chunky not for a while I ain't gonna lose a chunky for a while but it gave me great insight. So when I was battling body dysmorphia, like in elementary school and middle school, the way I would cover that up would be with fashion. So fashion is what really made me help with my body dysmorphia, you know? However, fashion, I'm not the ideal fashion model. I know it, you know? You have to be white, you have to be skinny. That's like the main thing. If you look at all the runways, everything, you have to be really tall and really slender. Okay, I'm like going off on a tangent. I'm just gonna go back to the original. Body of dysmorphia for me really, really has shaped my whole life, honestly, because I have never escaped that. I've always been told I'm too big. I've always been told I look chunky. I've always been told I look fat. And I considered myself not to be that attractive. I don't consider myself to be attractive whatsoever. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm probably like. I, like I, personally for me if I'm being honest with myself I feel like a three I feel like a three that's good in my eyes fashion for me has been both a love and a hate standard because with fashion you know you have to fit the model standard which 
as of right now is her heroin chic which is really slim and like really slim and then you have to have like kind of to the bone kind of features and it really had me thinking about like fashion and the fashion industry like in general like how fashion really is just what standards you are meeting you know and as of right now I am a Latino man a queer Latino man who either dresses super, super gothy or punkish, or who dresses like he wants to get hate crime. Example there. But yeah, I, I love fashion, don't get me wrong, like, I love fashion. But at, at the same time, it's kind of like a double edged sword because you can get so much into fashion that you forget that. You forget the reason why you're dressing, you know? Like, you dress to escape how you look, and now you're kind of molding yourself to be something else that you're not, you know? Like, is that making sense? I don't know if I'm making sense. I'm just going off a tangent. I'm hungry right now. I starved myself. No. I, I do not starve myself, by the way. I'm joking about that. However, I did sleep for half of the day, so I, I've not ate, and I decided to make a YouTube video. And so now I'm hungry, so just, just to give cl clarity. I want to say now I feel better and more comfortable in my body, but not be lying. Like no, I'm not, that's some that's some complete bullshit. If I say that ever, because I'm always gonna have a struggle. I'm always gonna have this little thoughts behind my head. However, I have made it manageable. I do want to point out one thing though. Hold on. It's weird how when I was younger, like in elementary and middle school, a lot of people wanted me to be skinnier. And then once I started high school, a lot of people, like a lot of my family mostly, a lot of my family and my like, close friends wanted me to be buffer and like more like shredded, you know? Which I think that's, like that's kind of weird, don't you think? Like, how are you going to tell someone for all their lives to get skinny and then to bulk, you know? Like, you're telling this person to be one way and then you switch it up into another, you know? I, it's, it's weird standards in our society, honestly. Like, like, like I don't understand muscles. Like, I get it. They're hot. Yeah, you work out. C congratulations. Here's some You hear that? That's my ring. No disrespect, though. But, um... <laughs> like, good for you if you work out. Good for you if you got the body that you wanted. Congratulations, I'm not that bitch. Like, yee Like, honestly, the guys that I've hooked up with and dated, I never, like, fucked a buff, dude. Because I feel like, I don't know, like, probably their chest or something's gonna be too hard, you know? For me, personally, the body top that I like is probably, like, my body top. Because I love my body top right now, so I need to look for that in a partner. <laughs> Where it's, like, a little bit dad bod, a little bit chunky but not too chunky, but not too skinny. That little mid in between when you start to get, when you're skinny and then you start to get a little bit on the thicker side where you get a little bit of a bone, not too much. Now that's the sweet spot for my ass. Also, a little personal, little personal thing. I was in an abusive relationship. I was in an abusive relationship. No longer in one right now, thankfully. I never hope to be back in one. But yeah, I've had a partner in my past, in my life. I was gonna say my past life, but um, in my life, and he made it very known that he did not like my body. Like he would always make comments about it. Which honestly, if a partner ever does that to you, leave them because they don't want you. And he cheated on me with some fucking twink. <laughs> if a partner is telling you that you need to change your looks, most likely than not, they don't want you anymore. So, but yeah, he slept with another fucking twink. But um, what was I gonna say? I forgot what I was gonna say. I just felt like making this video because, you know. I just wanted to sit and rant and not feel like I have to be pretty for my YouTube channel. I'm just gonna get ugly. I'm gonna sit down and eat pizza and call it a day. Yeah. 
You feel it? You feel the vibe? But yeah. I'm gonna finish this pizza and this tapico. And call it a day. And then I'll savage whatever footage I have for my last video. So I'll probably upload that. 